Electricity is all around us. It is an integral part of life today and for the past century. It is almost impossible to find anyone willingly living without it. It gives us light. It gives us convenience. It shapes how we live today. But for all its benefits, it can also be dangerous. Misuse or negligence in using or working around electricity can pose many hazards and can be very dangerous to oneself and everyone around. Fire hazards, equipment damage, injury, and even death. These are the hazards one can experience when dealing and working with electricity. However, all of these are avoidable and preventable. If one takes care to follow proper electrical safety measures and practices in his surroundings. In this video, we will be showing you some of the most common malpractices with the use of electricity and how you can avoid and prevent electrical hazards from occurring. Electrical outlets, plugs, and cords. These are the basic utilities in delivering useful electricity to the public from their homes, and thus is the most direct contributor to hazards due to its accessibility and usage. That is why you must put an emphasis in putting close attention to electrical outlets, plugs, and cords. Inserting and removing a plug from the socket of an electrical outlet has its proper ways of doing. Pulling the electrical device's plug with a cord can risk damaging the pins in the cord from the plug of the device. Also, inserting the plug of the device without proper vision of the socket can lead to electrocution. The plug should be firmly held in its base when it is removed or inserted. It should be observed that electrical outlets should be situated in an accessible place to minimize the risk when plugging or unplugging the device. Modifying the plug is also strongly advised against. Removing the ground from a three-pronged plug or using a cheater plug to fit into a two-pronged socket can present increased risk of electrocution. Usually, this type of plug can be found in devices with a metal case, such as computers, to protect users when a loose wire is present inside the device. Thus, this design is made for safety purposes and should not be overlooked. Another issue is present in the use of extension cords. The use of extension cords can be very dangerous due to its ability to make electricity accessible to a more distant location and having containing more sockets. Due to this, it has the capacity to compel those who use them to turn them into the primary outlet for their devices instead. Another malpractice concerning extension cords is connecting extensions with one another. This practice is called octopus wiring. This would cause overloading on the outlet and may pose the risk of equipment damage or worse, electrical fires. This practice is strongly advised to be avoided. Should the outlet feel warm or hot to the touch, it may indicate a wiring problem and proper maintenance should be executed. It should also be considered that the extension cord should not be placed in locations under heavy traffic. This can quickly deteriorate the condition of the wire, especially if placed under a floor covering such as a rug. Continual degradation of the cord can expose the conductor of the wire and can be extremely dangerous. It can also cause tripping to passers-by and thus also poses a physically injury hazard. Though accessibility should be a given for electrical outlets, it can also be an issue regarding curious children or ignorant fools. There is no stopping them from inserting anything into the outlet or an extension cord if not under supervision and can be at risk of injuring themselves. Proper education and knowledge on the dangers of electricity can remedy the faults of ignorance. If possible, 
A covering for the electrical outlets should be placed to keep it out of the reach of children. Electrical outlets can also be covered behind furniture, such as chairs or tables, where it will be out of reach and would still be accessible for use when needed. For extension cords, they should be simply kept out of reach of children. They can be placed in locations where they are obscured from their line of sight or simply inaccessible to them. As mentioned before, Electrocution is one of the most common hazards that will occur in dealing and working with electricity. Electrocution can vary in different levels. Some might only feel a mild shock, while in some cases it is enough to cause severe injuries and even death. That is why, if faced with exposed conductors from deteriorated cords or wires, one should always assume that it is live and dangerous unless explicitly known to be otherwise. Proper maintenance should then be applied to minimize the risk it presents, such as using electrical tapes to cover the exposed wires or enclosures such as junction boxes along with wire nuts to contain the wires. Areas not under normal conditions should be avoided for electrical outlets, cords, and plugs. Increased caution should be exercised for areas with devices that produce extreme heat, such as stoves, toasters, or soldering iron in workplaces. If the cords get too near the source of the heat, the insulation may melt and expose the conductor. The same can be said for wet damp or areas with increased moisture. Water can be a very good conductor of electricity and using electrical devices around those areas can greatly increase the chances of electrocution. Reading the manufacturer's manual and all warning and instructions when using devices, appliances, or electrically powered machinery can go a long way in terms of safety. Also, following the rules and regulations of the workplace and using proper tools, equipment, and uniform for the job can minimize the risk for yourself and those around you. Safety is doing the right way, and to do the right way is to know how to do it. When considering working with panel boards, installing new electrical utilities, or maintaining old ones, one should ask for help to those with knowledge of the matter. Asking for help or advice from registered, licensed, and trusted electricians is strongly recommended if you do not have any formal training or knowledge in the matter. As mentioned before, knowledge in the subject can decrease the probability of hazards and should be acquired with the help of formal trainings or seminars or with the help of experts in the subject matter.